All right, we're gonna wing it on the PS2 again, and this time we're going to be playing Tourist Trophy, which is made by the same people that do Gran Turismo. However, the big difference here is it's motorcycles only. And I'm typically decent at racing games, but when it comes to motorcycles only, that's a different story. <laughs> They're a bit different to handle, for sure. Now, this game's interesting, because for a PS2 game, it's actually in 1080i. Not 1080p, but 1080i. I've seen better. You can kind of see the interlacing. I've swapped it back into uh, 480p mode. Ah, see, told you. That's the problem with this is motorcycles can flip over. Cars, not as much. And on top of that, I'm trying to drive with a tripod, so to speak. Kind of in front of the TV. So I'm not even getting the best view of the road. Now this game's unique for the way that you actually win bikes. Um, you basically pick a bike out of the list, and in order to get it, you don't buy it with credits. You actually just race against the same bike, and if you win, you get the bike. If you lose, you get another. Now, I'm quite a distance behind the guy in front of me in this race. And it's because I fell down so many times. There's a chance I can catch him. Not a huge one. But... I guess it's more about just watching me play this so you get an idea what this game was like. Even with its increased difficulty with the fact that you have to keep in consideration that you are in fact using a bike. It's still pretty fun. Um, there is a button you can push, which I have remapped. Uh oh. Ah! Yeah, I saw that coming. Anyway, I remapped my buttons to kind of be more like they are for the Xbox, where gas and brake are R2 and L2. And typically R2 makes you duck, which I don't think I can too much with this bike. Um, but if you duck down, you tend to have better aerodynamics. And with better aerodynamics, you can go faster in the straightaways. Now, this bike doesn't have a, a high top speed. So I seem to get there pretty fast, even if I'm not ducking down, which I don't feel like this one does. I think it has to be a bike with a windshield. Or windscreen, depending where you're from. Now one thing about these racing games I always found funny is you can kind of follow the tire marks on the road where it's darker. It kind of shows you where everybody else has been, gives you a good idea where you should be going. Unless they go through a wall, of course, like that one just did, then you should pay attention to the road. These do not apply in real life. For anybody who is wondering, don't follow the tire marks, you could end up in a tree. Now I lost horribly. But hey, you got to see what it looked like. Let's, let's get out of here. That was a regular race. Oh, I could turn the music off just by pushing the circle. Uh, let's go back and let's try out a race where I'm just trying to win a car or a bike. You see the component freaking out there. It goes green. I think it's just because the PS2, while it did HD technically, it wasn't very good at it. And it freaks out. Gotta wait for the insane saving times. Alright, so challenge mode is the mode where you can win cars. 
Let's see, I want myself a Honda. Let's do a BMW, why not? Oh, I can't. I have to... You have to get licenses in this game, and... The more licenses you have, the, the faster and better bikes you can do. Let's try a Yamaha. Alright, so the ones with no letters are basically, when you first pop open the game, you can play with those. Then you have to get the novice license, which is the green. Then there's the junior license, and there's the expert license, and then I guess super license uh, for super bikes. Let's see. I'm not too familiar with Yamahas. Most of these seem pretty slow. This one's got some speed on it. Let's do this one. Eh, it looks, eh, it looks pretty good in black. Let's do the black one. Now the other bike that I won, the one I was racing on the other race, I got to use High Speed Rink, which is a very good track. I'm, I'm racing a Kawasaki. Ah, I did terribly. See, most of the bikes I've used so far were not near this powerful. I think the other bike could only do about 135. I, I gotta stop sooner. I think I'm gonna stop right about here. That didn't work either. <laughs> I might have to go pick a nice slow, slow bike for this. I guess you gotta keep the bike flat. Because if you start to twist it, you'll lose control. I've never ridden a bike that goes anywhere near this speed. All the bikes that I've ever ridden on were small engine. And then, even still, you would never want to go 150 miles per hour down the street in a neighborhood. Because you would end up taking out everything and ending up in somebody's living room. Ah. Overdid it. Alright, so the whole point of this is I'm supposed to catch and pass this other person here. And maintain my position. Let's pick a different one. And maintain the position, I think it's for 10 seconds. Uh, let's, let's go for a basic, basic bike. There's the component freak out. We're going to go all the way back to that first one in the list. The one, it actually looked kind of interesting. It kind of looked like a dirt bike with the way the tire tread looked. But why not? Let's do this one in white. Autumn bring many three laps. That was part of the license test. So I've already done the track before. Have a small understanding of what it's going to be like. And now I'm racing a Honda. It might have just been coincidence that the other one I was racing against the same bike. camera is just perfectly in the way when I turn to the left. Surprised they didn't catch me cutting the corner. Typically it tells me that I would have failed. Okay, crouch does work on this bike. You can kind of see it, and I'll let go over here. You can hear the change in the wind more than anything.
seem to be falling behind him more than anything. All right, let's really focus now. We can do this. Feel the concentration. I think I was going really easy on the bike because of how terrifying the other one was. But this one you can push a little harder because it's not going nearly as fast. Just getting farther away from me. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, at least you got to see what the game looked like. I never guarantee that I'm going to be any good at it. I just want to show you what it looks like. And I think I've done that. So, maybe next time I play a racing game, it'll be with cars, and I'll actually do pretty good at it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Alright, I hope you enjoyed winging it with me today. If you did, go ahead and subscribe and check out some more of my videos. Thank you for watching.